What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just in the middle of installing a fast fuel system on my uh, 5.9 Cummins here. I didn't want to do a how-to video on it just because I'm not super comfortable with the install procedure uh, for this, uh, for my 5.9. This is actually the first 5.9 I've done, so if I'm not super comfortable, I don't like to make videos on stuff. Uh, but I do want to make a video on this, because this is kind of cool. This is my fleece uh, factory fuel filter delete kit, because now that I'm running uh, my fast fuel system, I don't need my factory fuel filter. So this is a pretty cool uh, little thing just to clean up my engine bay. So here is the actual system here. Uh, this side is where the fuel's coming in. And then this top line, that's going to my CP3. And this one just returns back to my fuel tank. I don't have the filters on yet. It's not quite ready. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what it's all about. I was originally gonna use a sump, which basically you put on the bottom of the fuel tank and it sucks fuel right from the bottom of your tank. But the guys at Fast said don't use it because if you're low on fuel, the fuel sloshes around and you can actually start sucking air and your truck can stall out. So what they get you to do is drop the tank, take your fuel sending unit out and you actually put new fittings in the top so it sucks and returns right into the little kind of cup like your sending unit in your tank. You actually have to like disassemble your sending unit. So here's my fuel pump I had. Here's a screen off the bottom you gotta get rid of. Another screen, these hoses, all that stuff. It was actually kind of a pain in the ass to do it all if I'm being honest. But with that said, it will be worth it because the, the way it's set up now is awesome. Even if I'm low on fuel, I'll always have an abundance of fuel to suck and return to in that little cup that's actually sitting in your fuel tank. So it's definitely better for the truck. Okay, well anyways, I'm gonna start taking my factory fuel filter out of the truck so we can put this uh, fleece fuel filter delete in. So they say to remove this intake horn, but I think I, I'm nimble enough to get in there and do it without removing it. I have all these wires and stuff here to run this VGT turbo I got on the truck. So I'm just gonna cut all my zip ties, get everything out of the way, and then uh, unplug my sensors, water, or my fuel heater, that kind of stuff. There's two banjo bolts, one on each side of your fuel filter housing. Uh, I'm gonna drain the fuel filter by pushing that, uh, moving that yellow valve you see there, and then unbolt it and I'll pull her out. All right, I got it out. So it's actually pretty cool. All this block is gonna do, because if you see, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but from here, this is my return from my CP3 pump. This is my return from my fuel rail. And uh, this is my return from the back of the cylinder head. So see, they all connect right here in this uh, fleece fuel filter delete, and then they run down this pipe uh, or that hose that goes back to the return in the fuel tank. And then, like this was, my original line to my CP3 from my fuel filter housing, which I no longer lead, need because I have my new fitting here and I'm gonna be putting my, uh, my fast fuel, my line right from my fast fuel pump up to my CP3. Here's the old uh, fuel filter housing. It was actually kind of a pain in the ass. There was one or two brackets back here you had to disconnect. There is one, two, three, uh, four fuel lines you had to take off and then you had to unbolt it and move the dipstick out of the way. But uh, yeah, this is the, uh, the old one. So I gotta take my water and fuel sensor out, which is right there, I believe, and put it in my new uh, delete plate and uh, put her on. Okay, water and fuel sensor is back in. Honestly, I don't even know if it would ever tell you if there was water and fuel because there's not really a place for it to sit and collect unless you had strictly just water in your fuel system, then maybe it would go off, but that would be a really bad news. It does come with a plug here if you don't want to put that in, but I think it might throw a code, so I'm just gonna put it in, whatever. And then it comes with some new uh, copper washers for my fuel lines, so I'm just gonna bolt this in place, put my fuel lines on with these new copper washers, and this should be done. All right, well, that's what it looks like when it's all done. No more big, ugly factory fuel filter in the way of, uh, you know, working on your truck. So I'm really happy with that. Now, like I said, I'm just gonna clean up all this wire and I'm gonna hook up my fast fuel system, the, the feed line to my CP3 pump. And uh, gotta hook up this wire in for my pump and then she's done. So obviously you can't do this fleece fuel filter delete unless you have an aftermarket lift pump like a fast or 
uh, Air Dog or BD Diesel makes one. Um, just because you have to have a fuel filtration system. Also, there'd be no way to get uh, feed to your CP3 pump with this uh, delete kit. So keep that in mind. But uh, this is an awesome upgrade if you're just looking to, like you should be doing a lift pump anyways, like a fast system, just because it's so much better for your truck. It gives you so much more fuel, but the fuel is super clean and it's got a water separator, all that stuff. Uh, filters are cheap because they cross over to hundreds of different brands and companies that make these filters that work. You can put, you know, your big yellow cap filters on if you want, if you want to be one of those guys. Um, but yeah, it, it supplies your truck with more fuel, cleaner fuel, uh, which is really good for your CB3 pump and it's really good for your injectors as well. Also, if you're running higher horsepower tune or you're just building more horsepower with engine upgrades, you need a lift pump because your factory one won't uh, support a bunch of extra horsepower. All right, everything is hooked up. You can see my fast is in there. So basically what I did was I tighten this back filter and then this front filter I have it loose so I'm just gonna turn the key and uh, it'll prime itself which is a super cool thing about fast turn the key on you can hear the pump running There, and you shut it off. Then you go up there, wipe her off and spin her tight, and your fuel system's pretty well primed. All right, let's fire her up. Excellent. Look how low my fuel level is. They say when you put one of these fast fuels and you're supposed to go fill it up right after just so that you know it can get all the air out of the system and everything and that your pump's got adequate fuel and everything like i said i left my i let my fuel go as low as possible so that when i dropped my tank it was much easier than dropping a full tank fuel well it doesn't look like we got any leaks so i think we are good now you can imagine how nice and like it already looks nice and open on my truck but i have all that extra wiring for that vgt turbo so if you didn't have all that it would look even better and you could kind of even see the the fleece fuel filter delete a little bit better well, that pretty much does it for this video. Again, I just wanted to do a quick video kind of going over this fleece fuel filter delete to show you guys what it's all about. So if you enjoyed it, please like it, subscribe. If you got questions, ask in the comments down below or shoot me a message on Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel. I try to answer everyone as quick as possible. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.